to call to order the August 9th meeting of Public Affairs Committee. Uh, so good evening again to those of you who are still here. Um, we'll jump into item one, the receipt of the reports for July from the staff, uh, property maintenance, parks and rec, public information and information technology. With big thanks to all those staff people and their reports and all that they've done this month. Um, and some of those new formats are appreciated as well. Um, any comments, any questions? Does any of, do any of the staff wanna make any particular updates? Um, I know we had another concert this past weekend. Uh, yes. <laughs> Hello, Taylor. commissioners. Good evening. Um, yeah, a couple of things that I wanted to add on uh, to it. Uh, we did have a concert on Sunday. It was amazing. Um, we had good attendance, uh, about 45 people, as I counted. Uh, it was able to be outside this time. I know there was a couple of them that we had to move indoors, but we were finally able to do it in the Arboretum. Uh, it was beautiful. The band did a fantastic job. Um, they had some band members flown in from different cities around the country, so it was a Pretty big ordeal, um, but I was I was very happy with it. Um, obviously, Kelly put a lot of work in getting it all set up and picking the bands and coordinating and making sure everything got set up. Um, we had a ton of help from Parks Maintenance too, making sure the stage was good to go and we had enough seating and all of that good stuff and everything looked great. Um, so it was a huge success. Uh, we have another one coming up on August the 20th, which will be the fin final one of the season. Um, and that one will be Old York Road uh, Symphony Orchestra. I believe it's a 32 or 34 piece uh, band that'll be playing, uh, same thing at the Arboretum. Uh, so we're very excited about that. They played for us before and, and uh, it was very popular. So it was requested that they were brought back again. Um, so very happy with that. Um, really quick, we're approaching the final week of summer camp, uh, which we call summer recess. Um, it has been it has been going well. They're heading into their final week, as I mentioned. They're going on a field trip next week uh, to top things off, and then they're doing kind of a camp end celebration. Um, we're excited to hear. We got some good news too. We've been kind of taking a straw poll uh, with staff, seeing who's uh, looking to come back next year. And uh, ten out of the eleven are looking to return. Our camp counselors. Uh, the only one not returning is one that's literally moving out of the country, uh, so she can't. Uh, but all the rest of them plan on joining next year, as well as a lot of the parents that the staff has spoken to, too, uh, said they plan to put their kids back in camp with us again uh, in future years. Uh, we had around 70 campers this year. So uh, the numbers have increased from the beginning uh, to now uh, by about 25. Um, so pretty impressive. Obviously, the work of the team, making sure that we promote, we market. Uh, Lauren has been huge helping us get information out there on the website, on the billboard, uh, literally everywhere that we can get info, uh, we tried to get it. Um, so that's been huge for us. Um, and lastly, uh, we are in pretty much the final month of the pools. Um, same thing with that. Uh, we're starting to have those conversations with staff too, to kind of get an idea of uh, what the retention is gonna look like going into next season. Um, and now a approximate estimate uh, I'd say about 75% of the staff are planning on coming back uh, next season. Um, a lot of the ones that aren't planning on coming back are ones that are moving far away for college or starting a specific program or having to go into their internship. Um, so that's something that we were aware of that was going to happen. Um, so we started a little program with some, some of the swim team members, um, almost like a junior lifeguard program uh, that kicked off this week. Uh, and that's been happening in the mornings before uh, the pools open over at Glenside. Um, and that program is full. So there's interest in a lot of youth in the community uh, to eventually become lifeguards with us. Uh, so that's very exciting. And we have a lot of legacies too. So younger brothers and younger sisters of current staff uh, that plan to continue the legacy of their parents and grandparents uh, that worked for our township pools. Um, so super excited about that. We just held their staff appreciation event um, yesterday. Uh, it was fantastic. They had a great time. We did awards. They went in the pool. We got them food and so on and so on. And it was uh, well attended. So um, the staff are in a good place. Um, we've served a ton of people over the course of the summer here. Uh, and we continue to get tons of people coming to the pool every day. Obviously, at the end of the season, I have more numbers for you guys. But I think it's going to be um, some, some good stuff coming out of that, both financially as well as just visits in general. 
Um, so yeah, overall successful season and we're looking forward to the calm period um, that is coming up after the season ends so we could breathe a little bit and then just get right back to work and start planning next year's uh, programs once again. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Always, always fun to hear the success stories and some of the new initiatives to build to build staff for the future. So that's that's very innovative and, and excellent. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. And thanks to all those of you who are maintaining the pools. We know that's been tough too. So okay. Um, all right. Uh, no other comments. I'll go ahead and uh, move receipt of those reports. All in favor. Aye. Thank you. Uh, item two, uh, the receipt of meeting minutes. July was, um, there were a lot of people out of town in July, but, um, and so forums uh, were not, were not met and uh, meetings were not held, but I'll go ahead and move receipt of uh, that information that was provided. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, yeah, thank you. Item three, receipt of staff meeting minutes. Any comments, questions? Anybody else want to move receipt? So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Old business for public affairs. So moved. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. New business, item five, consider recommending the Board of Commissioners appoint the following members to the Township Citizen Committees at the August 16th, 2023 Board of Commissioners meeting. That's our legislative meeting next week. Uh, and they are Rashida Gray of Cheltenham for the Planning Commission, Atara Saunders of Elkins Park for EDTF, Jacob Gray of Cheltenham for EDTF, Carolyn Cohn of uh, Glenside for the Traffic Calming Committee. And uh, we all have their um, resumes and their letters of request on their impressive group. Commissioner Pransky. Um, the only one I was concerned about was the nominee for the Planning Commission. Um, I don't see where she's been a participant in our meetings or involved in what goes on as far as planning, building, zoning, or anything else. Um, and although she might be in real estate, it doesn't give her a necessary credential to be involved in planning. And I was, it, it was, I found it concerning. It's too important in a committee as far as what it does and what it recommends. And I think perhaps part of what your concern is, um, especially if we want to recruit and be able to continue recruiting a bench is perhaps it speaks to the need for some training uh, as well as, you know, uh, for people who might be willing to serve, but not necessarily equipped. Um, is there anybody uh, on our staff who wants to talk to the issue of qualifications or preparation uh, for organizations like the Planning Commission? Sure. Um, so Montgomery County has um, training periodically at least once a year um, for Planning Commission members and Zoning Hearing Board members. So we usually take advantage of that. Uh, we also at the staff level uh, meet with new members and, and get them up to speed on how, how the committee works and the things that they would be discussing. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have a background in anything related to planning, but you know, a definite interest is important, obviously. Um, so we we can definitely get people up to speed um, if they have the interest to to serve on that committee. And and that's my concern, actually, not just getting up to speed, but the interest. You would think if someone's interest, let's say, in being a commissioner, that you'd see them at meetings, you'd hear their comments, they'd be involved. You know, it's not just it's not a, a simple thing that you just decide one day, oh, I think I'll do that, you know, and, and that's the part that concerns me. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Lewis, are you wanting to yes. talk about that issue? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, thank you. Uh, Allison, 
Is there a interview process in a situation like this? And if so, what does it include? And does it include anyone from the planning commission? Um, generally, uh, we don't have an interview process. Um, it's usually taken upon, you know, the resumes are submitted to the board for review and consideration. Um, I've been talking with uh, Ed Diazio about um, kind of formalizing the process a little bit more. Um, that's something that's on our to-do list and we just haven't really, hasn't floated to the top yet. But yes, there are some things we can do to improve the process and training and things like that. There was, actually was a brief period in time because I served on the committee. There was an interview committee for about a year. Um, and it was a useful, it was a useful uh, process. Um, does anyone, uh, was there anybody on the board uh, who recommended that individual and has, has a personal knowledge of that person? I believe it was uh, Commissioner Brockington recommended her. Okay, why don't we do this? Um, because, uh, of Commissioner Pransky's concern, why don't we um, go ahead and possibly go ahead and vote to recommend toward next week's. And in the meantime, during that week, um, uh, pursue some of these other questions, perhaps with Commissioner Brockington, maybe he knows something we don't know, uh, uh, talk with um, our uh, uh, staff, and then also, Commissioner Pransky, maybe you, we have the contact information. Maybe you could actually reach out directly and discuss that concern with the individual. I, I don't see why not. Um, there are diplomatic ways to, uh, to understand, you know, to, to pursue uh, how deep the, the interest is. I, I appreciate that. I would defer for a moment to um, Allison and the board. Uh, in that, is it necessarily appropriate for me to do that? No, I'm I don't getting think questions. so. Plus you yeah. wouldn't be a diplomat anyway. So you wouldn't be diplomatic. Um. <laughs> my, my parents used to call it a cold water diplomat, you know, right in the face. <laughs> I wonder why it wouldn't be. How about if our board leadership um, did the outreach? Would that would that be uh, more That'd appropriate? Be the, uh, I was going to say I that would be so. my suggestion: is have uh, yeah. Dan or Matt reach out and, and yep. talk with her. Yep. I support that. All right. D does anybody want to make the motion uh, to recommend these uh, with is that it, contingency? Is it? Or next I, I agree with I agree with that. Is it possible to include somebody from the planning commission? I support that. Um, I'm well, not sure I do, and here would be the reason. Um, th then it feels a little like uh, the insiders already uh, uh, have a preference for. No, there's no preference here. It's but a it, of capability me, and I, I don't think you have a in in this case a a. Rec a an appointed committee doing its own appointments. I, I don't, or weighing in on that process. I think it, it clouds the objectivity. It clouds the fact that a newcomer might bring something different to the table. So I, that is, uh, yeah, I, no, I think Commissioner, given who our planning commission, you know, how they're set up, I just don't think- I, I understand what works. you're saying, but we're not asking the planning commission person to make a vote, a made final recommendation one way or the other. But they do bring knowledge to the table about what goes on to planning commission meetings. And that I think should be in front of the candidate so that they can respond to it and say, hey, are you prepared to do this? Do you understand we do this? All right. That's, well, that's again, they don't have to be prepared in the interview in the sense that there is still training to be had. So I, again, I, I don't think, uh, yeah, staff, can also do that. Could um, we have Henry do it? 
Uh, yeah, I was going to say my my suggestion is not yeah. to have uh, a citizens committee interviewing a, an appointment. And resign. I didn't want to take much time. Okay. Yeah, so I would have uh, either you know board leadership and or staff um, mm -hmm. talk with them. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and, and or one of each doesn't matter. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's just too important a position to gloss over. So whatever the motion is, I'm in favor of it as soon as we figure out what the motion is. All right, well, does anybody else want to frame it? It sounds like we're framing it for uh, for Henry and, and myself to reach out and have a uh, conference call with Rashida Gray. Uh, I would add that uh, we first talked to Commissioner Brockington. Yes. I I, yes, I absolutely agree with that. Okay. Uh, and do you want to put that in a separate motion, uh, Commissioner Norris, uh, to the others? Or do you want that to be part of the recommendation to move it on to next week? Um, I, I'd be okay with moving it on to next week along with the other three. Okay. Uh, thank you all in favor. Aye. 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 I'm opposed. Commissioner Pransky, I don't think I've heard from you. Well, I was deciding if I was going to abstain, but we're a little shorthanded here tonight. Um, I'm only concerned about the move it on part before the conversation takes place. Well, I wouldn't want to heard, tell you. You've heard the condition. Yeah. So you have get another chance next week to. Uh, to see if the conditions met your... No, no, I understand that, but okay. here's, here's my concern, and it's for the candidate's sake. There's a conversation with the candidate. The conversation does not go as well as it would hope, be hoped, and we've already recommended to move it to the legislative session. How do you then turn around and say, uh, never mind? Then we delay it. We delay or we go ahead and approve if we like the other uh, recommendations. And then we delay or table the other until uh, the interest and the knowledge base or whatever seems to be lacking this week uh, and next week uh, is satisfied at another meeting to table it. I support uh, a vote on the other three. There's okay. no point of contention there. Okay, so se separated. Uh, okay. And as far as the delay, there there may, uh, uh, Anne, to your point, there may be a delay anyway. Um, Commissioner Brockington's on vacation this week. I'm not saying he's unreachable, uh, but between reaching out to him on vacation as well as uh, trying to arrange a, a call with the candidate, it may or may not happen in the in the next week. All right, so we'll go ahead and. Uh, move the other three names forward, uh, all in favor. I mean, we had three, we could have gone with it, but I think we're trying to make sure we do um, mm -hmm. things according to the comfort of the entire board. So uh, let's go ahead with the other three, um, uh, all in favor of moving those toward next week. Aye. 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 Everybody? Okay. Uh, and now uh, the motion uh, with all those contingencies to move uh, uh, that when when those are satisfied. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think I understood what you said, aye. Okay. I think we're done with item uh, five, new business, unless somebody else has something else to bring up. Okay, thank you. Uh, number six, announcements. Um, so one is the presentation to the township of a bird town certificate at the August 16, 2023 Board of Commissioners meeting. And that is to ratify our continued um, support of uh, bird habitat. Uh, and the part of the issue was the change in name and of the state organization, uh, but they'd like to uh, be there at Curtis to make a, a short presentation and give us a certificate. 
Um, so I'll go ahead and move. Uh, They're going to come and give us the bird. Yeah. So all, all in favor of that uh, short presentation next week. Aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, 6B, uh, the public comment period for the township uh, facility study has been extended to November 30th. Um, so uh, I know that we're already it's September getting... 3rd. Right. Did what did you I say? say? October? Did yeah. I extend November. it further? <laughs> Thanks, Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what I'm reading. Um, I, I know that uh, there has been a lot of interest. I know I personally had uh, the opportunity to deliver a bunch of hard copies uh, to people who've requested them. Uh, I know people are submitting uh, emails. Do staff want to make any comment about anything that they're aware of on that? I'm getting mostly phone calls so they can talk to me directly and give me a hard time, but yes. Are you directing them to submit in writing? I wouldn't well? put anybody else through that. Well, I'm going to tell yes, you can set the account that's in. They can, they can submit um, a letter to us or, or an email on their comments. Um, we don't have a, a, a finalized schedule for what will happen after September 30th, but we will be putting something together and get the word out um, so that we can continue to involve the public in the process. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments? Any other announcements? Yeah. Uh, well, this, are, are you, are you announcements? Yeah. Uh, Jerry has a very important one. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Just Hi, to remind everyone about Lamont Citizens United are having their second annual uh, event at the Lamont Center next Saturday, um, August 19th, around at the center. So please, please, if you're not doing anything, come on around, okay? And they're gonna have some wonderful giveaways. And we have wonderful giveaways. Our very own Commissioner Pransky has, can I tell him? He's been giving away? Yes, he's giving. <laughs> he has, well, just, Jerry, did you talk to my wife about it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we have a, he's donated us a 13 inch smart TV. So that's gonna be very nice. 32. Whoever gets that one. And also a, a couple other things. The rest of them- 32. Is, and another uh, 13. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, three Very months membership to Fitness 19. So I think they're they're very uh and we have a lot of nice giveaways. And Commissioner Lewis, I'll be after you later on this week. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> with, trying to come with up with some donations. Stay tuned. If anyone wants to donate anything. Yeah, I okay. hear you. I hear you. I got you. Okay. I got you. <laughs> But it's a fun event. It's going to be nice to see everybody again. And Jerry, what time does it start? It's from two to five. I'm going to send all you guys another flyer again. I'll send. I'm going to do it this week, and I'll send you a flyer so you'll have all the information. Okay. So please. How do we make a donation? Huh? How do we make a donation? Um, you could either donate something. You could donate a gift card. You could. You don't. It doesn't have to be like handing us any kind of money or anything. If you want to gotcha. donate uh, uh, some book bags or some pencils or, you know, some stuff like that, it doesn't have to, you know, be monetary. You could just get it. Computer, like, a new so, car, okay. you know, whatever. And, yeah. And just and get in touch with me. I'll have my phone number on there. Okay. All right. okay. See, I'm real easy. I'm not, you know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll move on into Citizens Forum for Public Affairs. Okay, there okay. being none. What? I I'll said make okay. a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Have a good Aye. evening. Aye.